Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima 4. We are still here outside of pause with our trusty steeds by our side. I say steeds even though we only see one horse, but there's four of us. I don't think we're all going to fit on one horse unless it's a really big horse. I, I've uh, done a little bit uh, here. If you look at our order, you'll see that I have, there is a way to reorder my companions. And I have put Iolo and Shamino, I've switched their positions. So Iolo will be more toward the rear, which is good because he's, he's got a ranged weapon. And then Shamino will get toward the future. If I bring up my stats... And let's look at Shamino specifically to start with. Uh, you will see he is now at a 209 experience, which means that he's now level 3. Uh, if I look at myself, I'm still due for level 5. Um, Julia is almost at level 3, so that's good news. And then Iolo needs 90 more experience points before he's going to get level 5 as well. So I still want to head north and see what we can see if we can get to Lord British's castle. And get our get our uh, new levels, and then there are some things we need to do in Britain as well. But let's uh, board our horse or mount our horse. It's uh, B is the thing, and we can yell. We can yell, "Giddy up!" I discovered this off camera, and this is what gives us our speed. Oops. Ah, oh, wow. All right, I'm gonna cast. Fireball at this gazer. I seem to remember they were kind of tough. He's heavily wounded now. Can make Shamino and them come up. And then Iolo. Uh, I just, let's see. So he's wounded already. Let me try my sling here. See if we can do some more damage with him. Now the gazer is fleeing. Excellent news. All right. So I'm going to move. Iolo over to assist Julia. And now that headless is fleeing. So I'm going to step back here and I'm going to get behind. And that headless is fleeing. Man, these guys are just like running away. And I can't. <sighs> Gazer, you're killing me here. You're killing me. You're supposed to be fleeing. You're not fleeing. I think you get your second wind. Oh, okay, good. So Shamino got a little experience. I wish Julia would wake up. We killed the gazer who was pretending to flee but did not. I hope that's not going to hurt us too much. All right. Um, I have no clue who's fleeing and who's not. I Okay, I guess he is fleeing. He's fleeing now. So as far as I know, it's only the one here in front of Shamino that uh, we can deal with. I guess, oh, now he's fleeing. So flee. All right, so we'll let these guys flee. I think they're all fleeing. Yeah, they're all running away. Run away. Run away. All right. Iola's pretty nimble. Oh, nope. Sorry. I th oh, shoot. Skelly, let's go away. I got to... <clears throat> Yeah, the problem there was is is because we were still in in giddy up mode. Uh, the thing was moving so fast, I couldn't I couldn't uh, <laughs> stop on the chest. <laughs> what a problem to have, huh? All right, so hopefully I'll woe him as soon as we get done killing these skellies. That seems like a that seems like a, a bit of a oxymoron. I don't know if that's the right term, but we're killing the undead. Is that the right usage of English? I am not certain. All right, that guy is... Okay, the skeleton in front of us is fleeing. So clearly, I cannot attack the skeleton that was in front of me. But now he moves to the side. Hopefully, that means he's going to continue to flee and not come down at us. Yes, he is continuing to flee. And now the, uh, the skeleton we just attacked is supposed to be fleeing. So... But he's fleeing in our direction. They do that sometimes, but uh, he looks like he's moving into attack position. So I don't know that I'm going to buy that he's fleeing. It would actually be very nice if we could get Julia a kill here. Um, 
That one's lightly one. Come on, Julia, do your business. All right, good. There we go. Little XP for Julia. And move me over. All right, that's all. Hello. All right. So I think this last guy here is running away. All right. So yell. Yell whoa. Get. Iolo. I'm. I'm. Oof. I am very happy that we can open chests from horseback. That does make me happy. Let's yell giddy up again and let's get, keep moving north. <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I am going to cast protection because I think that's a demon and uh, I think they usually tend to um, cast some like sleep spells and stuff. And now I'm gonna cast a fireball. Heavily wounded. That's a good sign. Let's move Shamino up. And let's move him over. And I'm gonna come back. It'd be nice if we get the skelly out of our way. Demon's critical now with my sling. Oof. I took a magical hit. I'm gonna move my melee people up. Now he's fleeing. I think the skelly's fleeing too. So flee, demon. Flee. There you go. Run away. Quit hitting us. You're killing me here. I'm gonna move Shamino out of the direct line of fire. All right. I got to woe. Get who opens. Uh, I, oh, I think I had Shamino do that before. Iolo is four now. I have to remember that. Iolo is four. Um, all right. Let's move. Keep moving. Let's see. Let's show Giddy up. Ah, uh, not where I want to be. Ah, Jesus. It is it is tougher to control that horse than it really seems. When you're in giddy up mode, because he really giddy ups. All right. He's fleeing. Great. I should let Julia whack him. That guy's fleeing. So I think just the guy that's in front of Shamino now is the guy that uh, we can actually attack. And I'm actually going to let... Let's let Julia take him out. He's barely wounded. Still barely wounded. Come on, Julia, do your Macy thing. I wonder if she'd do any better with a sword. Oh, I think, actually, I think, I think what she needs is an ax, because I think she's a ranger, and I think I read somewhere that they do better with axes. Okay, he's fleeing, which isn't the best because Julia doesn't get any credit for killing him, but oh well. All right. Poison trap, great. So now I've got to cast a cure spell on him. Do it on the right person, please. All right, we're gonna yell giddy up. And there's Breton. All right, good. Well, yo, whoa. I do love the fact that we can um, that we can uh, enter towns and stuff on our horse. That's cool. We're gonna exit our horse because we can um, 
dismount. We actually have to dismount to do things like hole up and camp, which we need to do soon. Uh, we need to get some health back, especially for Shamino and Julia. But let's go get our levels, shall we? In fact, let's look to see if Julia... Oh, she's still short. All right, well, maybe before we get out of the area here, we will... Um, find some more well we got those orcs that were chasing us we'll do some more uh we'll do a little grinding and get julia up to level three as well that would be nice let's climb up to the second floor that looks like a roof for something there doesn't it like out that window there's no secret thing there See the, let's see, so the wall of the kitchen or the guard room basically stops where the stairs or the ladder is. Yeah, what is that? I don't know if we can get there from outside. I don't think we can, which means there's probably got to be a way there from inside. I don't think there's any secret passages in here. No, you got the kitchen thing there. All right, I'm, I am intrigued by that. I don't know that I ever noticed that before. So maybe there's something off of... No, there's no secret passage over here. Maybe it's just decoration. There's no secret passage over here. Interesting. All right, well, let's talk to... Uh, Lord British, I'm level five. Shamino's level three. Okay, that's what I wanted. So now Shamino's at 300, 300 hit points. I'm at 500 hit points. So that's good news. Uh, and then if we can just get uh, Julia another 14 experience points, she will also be at 300 hit points, which is a good deal. So the other thing we want to do is visit while we're here in the castle is visit Hawkwind and see how we are doing on our spiritual quests. And I believe Hawkwind is down here. Yes, he is. All right. Am I asleep? I am not asleep. Good. By me, 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 Gizmo. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, you're a Hawkwind, blah, 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 blah. For what path? Honesty. Thou art a thief and a scoundrel. May Thou may not ever become an avatar. So is this actually worse? Before it was like, you are not an honest soul. Now I am a thief and a scoundrel. The reason for that, I believe, is, is because when I am buying like reagents, I have been paying less than they're asking. And I was thinking that was like bartering because some places won't let you get away with it. And some places will. I was thinking maybe that's, it's like, it's like, it's like haggling. You know, you're going to, you're going to say it's 20 gold pieces. I'm going to say, well, I'll pay 18 and they'll take it or they won't take it. But what I think that's doing is I think that's hitting my honesty score. And that's why now, one thing I did, I did look up on these scores. It was basically a five-point rating. Obviously, you know, one's, one's, one end is bad, one end is good. This is probably, if I had to guess, probably the lowest of the low. So I think I need to stop trying to um, uh, get deals there. So, so I think that's my problem there. So in the future... I will pay what's asked. Who knows? Maybe I'll try paying a little bit more. Maybe I can I can get some good karma from that. Uh, thou dost show thy compassion well. So that's the same thing we had before. So that's good. No backtracking there. Uh, valor. Thou art showing valor in the face of danger. Strive to become yet more so. Okay. I am showing valor. That is an improvement where uh, last time it said I was not yet valiant. So yeah, so I've improved on valor. That's good. So I'm probably like at a four or something. I'm going to, you know, probably at, we'll, we'll say five is good and one is bad. 
So I was probably like at a three because it was like, you're not like yet showing valor. So I didn't suck, but I wasn't great. Now I'm probably like a four. So that's good uh, because we aren't running away from, from much. All right, justice. Thou art an unjust wrench. Thou art a fulsome meddler. I have a feeling that's an improvement because before it said I was cruel and unjust. So I think it's improving. You know, so I was I was doing the bit about how we aren't gonna we aren't going to attack things that are fleeing from us. So I think we're on the right track there, but we have more work to do. All right, sacrifice is next. Thou art giving of thyself in some way, seeking now to find yet more. So that was the bit about give of your life's blood last time. And um so I started doing that when I was at places that say, would you like to give a hundred, hundred of your life's blood? And I would say, yes. So I need to continue to do that. I can actually do that in Britain. So we will do that while we're here. Um, so that is good. Again, I'm going to say that's probably like a four rating out of five. So an improvement, definitely, definitely, definitely. So let's try honor. Thou art a cad and a bounder. Thy presence is an affront. Thou art low as a slug. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's... So last time it said that I fight with malice and deceit. I'm not certain that this is a step up. <laughs> I may have just hit rock bottom. So I'm not really sure what to do. I was thinking that might also tie into into not killing the beings that are trying to flee. But I'm, I'm clearly doing something wrong from an honor perspective. I wonder if that could tie into the honesty thing with not paying, not paying the right amount, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to try some things. Maybe I'll have to do a little, little internet research and see what all I have to do. We do need to go and... Well, we haven't found the Shrine of Honor yet. Um, so maybe, you know, so that's something, this, the shrines will tell us things to do or things not to do. So we probably need to do that. Okay, now we've got spirituality. Thou art doing well on the path to inner sight, continue to seek the inner life. Uh, so that's the same thing uh, I got before. So I haven't, I haven't uh, gone down on that. I'm guessing that that's probably like, once again, a four out of five. <clears throat> okay. And then let's try humility. Thy humility shines bright upon thy being. Seek ye now for elevation. Oh, elevation. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seeking now for elevation. Do I have to go somewhere to be elevated? Okay, so this has got to be five out of five. This has got to be five out of five. But last time it said, does seem to be a humble soul, which is probably the four out of five. So I have improved. I have improved greatly. Okay, seeking elevation. So that's good. So justice, I'm an unjust wretch, which is, I think, a step up. Sacrifice is the art of giving thyself, give more. Uh, that was the same. Honor, a cad and bounder, low as a slug. That is indeed the lowest that can be done. Uh, I, I looked it up. So we need to work on that. One of the ways you find honor is basically by going into dungeons. And we haven't done a lot of that. And that's probably why uh, that is so low. Uh, spirituality well on path to inner sight that is the same and then humility as we just saw is a big plus shines bright seeking elevation so now now we need the shrines so we need to find the shrine of humility and what that means is we have to go back to uh, magentia uh, because magentia is the place where humility used to be and I think the shrine is around there we need to find that. So all we know about it thus far is Shrine is on an island. Southeast of Britannia is on Dark Island. So I'm guessing that's the island where Magencia is at. So we need to go back there and find that shrine. There's also 
supposedly a companion there in Magencia, I believe. So we need to find that as well. So I think we're going to have to, I think before that humility score changes on us, I think we want to go ahead and, and do that and, and, and find that uh, as quickly as we possibly can. But we are done here with Mr. Hawkwind, so let's uh, make our way out. And let's see, we are on level two. So let us descend. No, we are on level one. We are on level one. I am really intrigued by that whatever that thing was that we saw. Let's see, there was somebody out here. Uh, this guy had the, the riddle, I think. I can help. The riddle. If the eight philosophies of Avatar are combined into and are made from truth, love, and courage, yes. What well, one thing creates all and is created by all truths, all love, and all courage. I believe we found out that humility is kind of the basis. No. Hmm. Okay. Then I still don't know. I still don't know what you're about, sir. Um... We've been here before. Oh, ooh, did I notice that? Oh, look at this. A new secret area. Well, who might you be? A Grim Shepherd. Wow. What is your name, Grim Shepherd? I am Laundry. Laundry? <laughs> Laundry or Landry? Let's go with Landry. Let's go with Landry. Okay, so what does he do here besides being a grim shepherd? I am here to warn thee. Oh, dear. What are you going to warn me about? Ahead lies a perilous place. I-L-O-U-S. Perilous. Once thou enters, they may not return whence thee came. Wilt thou go on? I guess. Then thou art doomed. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's what was under that. So we have a locked door and then a ladder down. Ooh. Well, I don't think I want to deal with that today, but uh, it's perilous. I wonder if that could be... Uh, hmm. What that could be. All right, so let's... We had some other things we needed to do here. We needed to search the treasure room for the rune of sp spirituality. And of course, now that's taking me outside. That was not... That's the thing that we just found. I'm trying to remember where the treasure room was at. Oh, I remember. It was off that guard chamber, wasn't it? So let's go to that. I think we got to go back upstairs for that. I'm thinking there was something else that we needed to do here in Breton. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, or here in Lord Bruce's castle. But So let's go. Okay, here's the guard room. I don't have to go upstairs after all. What I do need to do is get in that secret room. Okay, I don't need to open anything because it's just a secret door. Okay, so I just need to search in here. I'm not stealing any gold. That's another way to get your honor, be smirts, but I have not stolen one thing of gold. Dude, you're in my way. Move it. Move it. I have to come back to that spot. Of course, it's probably like me in that back corner. Trying to be rather methodical about this.
<laughs> I called it, didn't I? All right, so we now have the rune of spirituality. Woohoo! All right, so if I look at my stats. Uh, let's see, let's look at our runes. See how it shows up. Okay, so we've got the rune of sacrifice and we've got the rune of spirituality. So we got one, two, three, four, five runes. There are eight in total. So we are missing the rune for hon honesty, which should be back at Moonglow. No, we have honesty. Do we have honesty? Which rune is that? I didn't mark that down here if that's the rune if that's the rune of honesty or if that's the rune of honor at Trinsic. Hmm. I'm thinking we got that. Okay. Well, we got what we came here for. So let's move along. Can I get out, sir? Can I get out? Come on, dude. Get out of the way. Oh, these guys. I mean, they're just like now I'm trapped between two of them. Make a hole. There we go. All right. All right, I think that's everything. We need to do here in Breton. Where's our horse? <laughs> Where did our horse go? It can't open doors. Did it like travel out of the town? If I come out here. What happened to our horse? Oh my gosh, really? My horse is gone. My horse, I hadn't even gotten around to naming him. My horse is gone. Unbelievable. I, I, I'll say no. Yes. Okay. Good. I, I forgot that I could do that right here. What the hell happened to our horse? It's not supposed to go. I mean, I paid 400 gold for that damn thing. And it just wanders off? Seriously? Did you see my horse? Is it like in the area? I'm gonna have to fight these orcs. Oh, we got a lot of them. All right. Let's get him up, her up, him over. Him up, her up. Maybe we can get Julia her, uh, her uh, level here. Do it, Julia. Oh, he, she misses. All right. Got him heavily wounded. Probably we ought to attack this guy. All right, he's killed. Heavily wounded. Come on. I'm still so upset about my horse. Oh, good. She killed him. Excellent. That's seven right there. I think that's half of what she needed. Barely wounded. Still barely wounded. 
heavily wounded. Ah, now he's fleeing. That's annoying. Don't miss, Julia. Come on, we're all taking hits here so you can get your get your get your uh, levels. I do need to keep an eye on her health. But she's doing okay with 120. Heavily wounded. <sighs> Come on, Julia. We're not letting him leave. And now he's fleeing. Are you fleeing? All right, she got that. So if I look at the stats for Julia, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's get it. We'll have Iolo do it. Oh, I had Shamino do it. 91 gold. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Oh, I don't want to fight you. But I'm gonna. All right, well, we can just... Um, we can just do our, our thing here, normal like. That guy's fleeing. So we will ignore him. That guy's heavily wounded. Now he's fleeing. We can't attack him. I'm gonna go down. All right, so. Iolo, you can help. We'll split up like this. Oh, Rogue fleeing. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> I'm going to move him up. Like They all seem to be wanting to line up and, and take a stab at Julia. Oh, she is getting kind of low on health. Um, all right, that Rogue is fleeing. I'm going to cast a healing spell on Julia. Because I don't want her to get killed. All right, so I've kind of lost track who's fleeing and who's not. All right, anybody coming toward us is obviously not fleeing. Well, I'm making that assumption. I think the guys off to the right here are fleeing. All right. Whoops, wrong direction. It's looking at the wrong character. Okay, that guy's fleeing. All right, so we just got this one guy we got to deal with here. And he's gone. And this guy here is fleeing. So you flee. Okay, there we go. Oops, jeez. I didn't have a chance to get that get that that crate. Alright, uh let's see, I can attack you and I miss. Have you come up? Have you come up? Have you come over? I'm gonna step back. Wait. You get in front of me. Alright. There we go. Okay, get rid of him. Wait, wait. Lightly wounded. That guy's fleeing. Well, that was... He's taking a practice swing. Keep him practice there. All right, we just we're just down to this one last skelly here. Uh, that was stupid. Okay, he's fleeing. All right, run away. Run away. All right, so get. Uh, I'll have Iola do it. He's good. What do you mean, not here? 
Oh, get Iolo. Should have been two, right? Yeah, get Iolo 37. All right, we're building up a nice supply of gold. All right. Oh, dear. I'm still annoyed by my horse. That's really all. I can't get my brain out of my horse. But I think we're going to let that be that. We are at a point where we need to stop. So next time we're going to – we do have a couple things we need to find here in – here in, um, in in Britain, we still haven't found the rune, and we still haven't found any information about the stone, and we need to do that. So we need to do that, and then we're going to get our buttocks over to Moonglow um, so that we can, not, not Moonglow, Magentia, so that we can find the shrine, hopefully find our companion, and then hopefully get elevated. That's what we need to be doing is get elevated. So that's hopefully on tap for next time, but I'm going to let that be that. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and I will talk to you next time. Bye.